Visitors to the Institute of Logopedics in Wichita, Kansas, are pleased to find our open campus with large grassy yards and groves of trees. When they look inside the Institute, they find a truly warm and caring place. Quality care and improving the communication skills of the handicapped has been our goal since our founding in 1934. And in our first 50 years, we have done this. At one time, we were a national center for those with cerebral palsy. After the Second World War, we were one of only a few centers in the United States serving veterans with speech disabilities caused by head injuries. We've always emphasized the development of communication skills while serving the individual's complete needs. Today, as the Institute enters a new era, we're specializing in serving the comprehensive needs of those with multiple handicaps. At the Institute, tomorrow's needs shape our future. That means that we have to continue in our role as one of the nation's leading residential schools serving the multiply handicapped who have difficulties in developing communication skills. We have a very unique focus here, and that is we consolidate the knowledge and skills in education, in medicine, and in the behavioral sciences. And I believe this focus addresses one of this nation's greatest needs in the areas of human services. Participants in this effort, our teachers, our researchers, our clinicians, parents, and contributors, all are investing in the future. They're investing in the futures of those we serve. They're investing in the futures of the professions that do this work. And of course, they're investing in the future of the Institute. When you enter the campus, Research Court is the first cluster of buildings to your right. Our laboratories and offices are housed here. The Institute commits a significant part of its resources to research. We're constantly working to increase the knowledge and advance the skills of those practitioners who serve children with disabilities. Our laboratory is recognized nationally for its research and development work. One project in progress is perfecting a tactile communications device. With it, the hearing impaired are able to perceive sounds as vibrations transmitted to their skin. The Institute is far more than research. It's a caring and nurturing place for the handicapped child. This is reflected in our unique on-campus residences. Located in the other courts are multiple apartment units that enclose spacious, grassy play areas. The residences contribute to the Institute's ability to better serve the handicapped. Each house is two or four bedroom apartments. There are fully equipped kitchens for making home-cooked meals. Every apartment has its own living room and dining areas. Each apartment houses up to three children and their live-in child care worker. The worker is responsible for meals, recreation, and other out-of-school activities. Because the child is under constant professional supervision, the child's therapy and learning is extended beyond the clinics and classrooms. At the focus of the campus is the Willard W. Garvey Building, housing the administrative offices and several of the clinical specialties. One of those specialties is audiology, where comprehensive hearing testing is provided. In addition to conventional hearing aids, these facilities demonstrate and dispense a variety of other assistive listening devices. Because the majority of our students are affected by multiple handicaps, we must meet their specific needs. We design programs to strengthen their bodies and improve the skills needed to grow to functioning adulthood. A typical program would include physical therapy to improve muscular functioning, to increase their coordination and perception, occupational therapy, medical and nursing services to keep their young bodies well. To increase their ability to communicate, speech therapy includes oral muscular therapy and the use of alternative augmentative devices and psychological services to improve behavior. Through such individualized services, the child progresses at his or her own rate Success can be measured in even the smallest of steps. At the east wing of the Garvey building is the chapel, which also serves as an auditorium. 
non-denominational services are conducted here. Additional religious needs are fulfilled by Wichita area churches and temples. On the northern side of the campus is a quadrangle of education buildings that surrounds a large, specially designed playground. Play and recreation are not idle time activities. Through play, youngsters develop needed motor skills and social interaction. It's also very, very fun. The buildings around the playground house a variety of classrooms and work centers. Most classes serve from four to eight children, staffed by a special education teacher, a speech language specialist, and a teaching assistant. The classes educate each student at the level best suited to that child. The teaching assistant is also being educated by the institution staff. Many professionals in communicative disorders have received practicum experience here in our classrooms. Because healthy bodies are needed to house young minds, physical activities are vital to any student. Our gym and physical education programs include active participation in the Special Olympics. Self-expression is a necessary part of any child's growth. Art is not only enjoyable, it bolsters motor and perception skills. A very meaningful art project for the children is their participation in the designing of the Institute's annual holiday greeting card. Practical skills are developed in the wood shop. It is important for the students to learn how to think and to plan. What they learn here is important, as many students will eventually be employed in sheltered workshops. Art isn't the only way that children express themselves. Music gives fly to their feelings. Playing musical instruments takes practice and enhances muscle control, too. All students participate in music. The Institute's student choir is made up of both singing and signing students. They are regularly asked to participate in community events. One such event is the opening and closing ceremonies of the Kansas Special Olympics. During the summer, the students can go boating, swimming, and fishing at Camp Logos. Eating homemade ice cream and having cookouts are very popular with the children. The most important goal in the schooling of our pupils is developing the skills needed to live independently in today's communities. This learning extends into the Wichita community through scheduled recreational activities. Movies, swimming, bowling, and skating are among the highlights. They also eat at local restaurants. Activities like these enhance their social skills and enrich their lives. In this short time, we've only been able to give you a close-up look into life on the campus of the Institute of Logopedics. There are many things here that make ours a special place. Students enjoy our tree-lined campus, and they benefit from the broad variety of services and specialists in one location. Our unique on-campus apartments with a home-like atmosphere provide the staff, setting, and programs to extend learning opportunities beyond the limits of the classroom and the school day schedule. The Institute provides round-the-clock health care that ensures the well-being of our residential students. Our beliefs are reflected in our emphasis on the development of communication skills. We believe that the ability to communicate is an essential part of a meaningful and productive life.